President Biden stands with Israel after the brutal attack by Hamas and is supplying Israel with weapons and other military aid. In this week's Waste of the Week, we'll look at the total amount of U.S.-Palestinian aid since 1953, and this includes President Biden's years in office. Joining us now is founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Andrzejewski. Good morning, Adam. Great to see you again. Good morning, Didi. Great to see you. And first, how much U.S. taxpayer provided Palestinian aid since 1953, and, and how much since the Obama administration? So since 1953, through the generosity of the United States taxpayer, we've put in approximately $8 billion in nominal terms. Uh, during, the, uh, during the Obama administration, it was the administration that provided the most money. It was $2.4 billion. This aid comes through a special United Nations fund set up to help Palestinian refugees. It's been going on for about 77 years. It helps uh, displaced Palestinian refugees in the areas of Gaza, the West Bank, in countries like Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. Biden restarted the Palestinian aid. Tell us how, how much has he provided? So during the Biden years, he's provided $1 billion through that UN special fund. And then the 2024 budget, there's another $260 million that he has planned to provide in Palestinian aid. So all total about $1.3 billion. Now Biden restarted that aid after Trump froze that aid in August of 2018. Trump put the money on the table. He said, he, he said if, if the elements in Gaza, in the West Bank, that's Hamas, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the Palestinian Authority, if they're not interested in peace, I'm gonna put the money on the table. I'm gonna freeze it. According to the negotiators, that had never been tried in the previous 71 years. They said that doing so, when Trump brought this up, the negotiators felt, the peace negotiators felt, that doing so would be disrespectful. Trump put it on the table, and it was relatively calm, in quotes, the Middle East is never really calm, for, for the two and a half year period when that aid was frozen. And what immediately, going back to the Biden aid restart, what immediately happened after the Biden aid restart? Yeah, that's a good point, Didi. So Biden broke, restarted the aid in April of 2021. Immediately in May of 2021, 4,000 rockets over the course of about a 10-day period were shot from the West Bank, from Gaza, into, into Israel. Even the AP on their news headline conflated the two events. U.S. aid restarts and the conflict intensifies. Put that in contrast when Trump froze the aid. In a two-day period, the worst amount number of rockets shot into Israel was 450. So the conflict did intensify after the aid was restarted. Adam, the European Union says that they will not suspend humanitarian aid to Palestine. Well, now that Hamas is at war with Israel, do you think the U.S. should suspend humanitarian aid to Palestine? Well, it's interesting. The PLO believes that they have a right under international law to U.S. taxpayer support. They, they um, uh, look, everything has to be on the table. Initially, the EU in a tweet said that they were going to suspend that aid. Then they quickly rethought it a couple hours later. The EU puts about three quarters of a billion dollars into Palestinian subsidy every single year. Uh, the U.S. State Department under Anthony Blinken in a press release in May of 2021 seemed to admit that we don't have proper controls on that subsidy, that we do our best, that it doesn't fund Hamas and terrorism, but he said that there's no guarantees. So I think at this point, every dime has to be on the table for inspection and audit. All right, well, interesting conversation, certainly not over. Founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Andrzejewski, thank you so much for joining us this morning on The National Desk.